So in the last video, I showed you how to um, get the timing about right um, on the rotor here. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, because I'm happy the timing is more or less in place. I mean, ideally I'd have ridden it up the road a few times and adjusted it to get it perfect, but time's a bit tight and it runs so nicely um, as it is. I'm sure I can get enough adjustment on these slotted holes if it does need any more adjustment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to peg the rotor to the camshaft um, just to make sure it can't move because I don't like relying on that nut to hold it tight. Uh, that will come loose. So I'm going to drill through about there as close as I can get it to that washer there because you don't want to drill through the outside because you'll be drilling into the camshaft and you won't be able to drill the camshaft. And I've selected a roll pin and a drill bit that's a good match. I've just tried to drill the hole with that drill bit and I've tried that roll pin in it and it's a good fit. It's not very tight but it's not loose either, it's about right. And I've cut off a little small section of roll pin that I'm going to use just there, about a quarter of an inch. So, here we go. Should have sharpened the drill before I started recording, but never mind. Yeah, that should be about right. Yeah. It's like a flat ended punch to make it in. That's slightly proud, so I'm going to grind it back with this. Okay, that's about flush now. Now what I'm going to do is the small, there's a small plane washer and a spring washer and then the nut. I'm going to take off this small plane washer and put on a larger washer to trap the roll pin in place.
and that's it. Um, what I will do is I'll recheck the gap on the pickup and I'll get an airline and blow all those bits of swarf away just in case they affect it. And I did notice when I watched the last video back that that does wobble around a bit. It's not as concentric as we would like it. So what I'll do is I shall check the gap that's whilst turning the engine at several points. So you might have to have the gap at say 0.6 mil at one point and 0.4 at another, just to make sure it's, um, it isn't gonna touch the pickup at any point. Um, but then that, that should hold it in place now. And that should be reliable. Um, one other thing is since the last video, I decided to swap these. These I, I did have JIS uh, Phillips headed screws in there, these ones. I decided to put some hexagon headed, eight mil hexagon headed set screws in because I didn't think you'd be able to get it quite tight enough with these. And that doesn't want to come loose, otherwise again, that will damage the pickup if the base plate comes loose and you'll lose your timing. Um, okay, I hope that was useful.